Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you how to use a master document in Word. So what I've got is a blank document on the screen. Now, first of all, you have to create a master document. And what it's all about is inserting other documents within the master document framework, which you then can manage and update and add table of contents and headers and page numbers in one place that will cascade throughout all the others. So first of all, let's have a look at the master document area. You need to go to the view tab and then you need to click on outline. Once you're in outline, you need to click on show document, which will open up this master document group. And then you've got either create, so you can create a structure from that create button or insert. Now, what I want to do is insert some documents that I've already got. So I've got three chapters and let's say three different colleagues are working on these three chapters, but I want this master document to be like a cabinet storage area for those documents, which I can look at to see how they're getting on. So let's go for it. So insert, then you navigate to the document that you want. And what I want is chapter one, first of all, and it's got some styles already in there. So I'm just going to say yes to all. So it brings them in. Basically, it's got the heading style there, Microsoft. And then insert again, chapter two. Yes to that. And finally, the third one, insert. Control Z that one. I don't want to create one. Insert chapter three. Yes. So what I now need to do is save this master document. So those are the three documents, basically the same bits of text I've used. That's slightly different than that last one. So I need to save this master document as whatever I want to call it. So control S and I'll just call it master 2022. It's going in documents. That's okay. Save that. So I've now created that structure. If I collapse the documents, you'll see them as hyperlinks. So what can happen now is that a person could be working on chapter one and any changes that they make in chapter one, I will see them in this master document screen. So if I just go into this one, this first one, it's a hyperlink, so I'll just click onto it, which will open that document. Let's make some changes. Let's just make that bold, for example, and I'll do a heading, make that into a heading style. So there's a heading style there. And I'll make that into a heading style as well. Heading one, I'll have that one. So I've done some changes on that. I'll just do control S to save and then close it down. Control W to close it down. Come back to this master document. Now, if I expand all the documents, those changes that I made are reflected in this master document view. If I collapse them there, so you've got the hyperlink. So somebody could be working along in that document and whatever changes they save, I will see them when I expand it in this document. Now, what I can also do is insert a table of contents in the master document, which is what I'm going to do now. Go to references, table of contents, and just add that in. So it gives me the table of contents of all three documents within this document. I also can insert, if I go to um, the insert tab and go to a header, Let's go for a header here and create my own edit. So now you see in print preview view. So I'll just put Steve, my name on there. And I'll go page numbers at the bottom. So page numbers at the bottom. And then I can close the header and footer. And there you go. So you don't see it in this view, but when you go into print preview, if I just save this, if I go into print preview, you will see it, print layout, should I say. So there's the table of contents, there's the header, there's the page number in, going through all these documents as though it's one document. So you've created one document where you've got individual people working on different parts of that document. If I go back to outline and collapse the documents, you can still see that structure there and you can still see the hyperlinks. Now, if I do a change in one of these, so if I go into this second one, for example, and let's make a change there. So 
if I make that line bold, so that's bold, so it'll come back into, I'll, I'll save that and close it, and expand this. So the second document, I made that line bold. Now if I change something in this, so if I just change the font on this one, so if I just do control square bracket to increase the font size, and then just control less that one, and then collapse it down, and then just hyperlink to it. Whichever way you edit it is going to affect the other end. So basically you've got individual people working on a document, which you can then see in a master document, or you can edit in the master document, and they will see what you've done in the master when they open it. But it's just a great way for multiple people to work on a document and have it stored in one central place with a central structure, table of contents, page numbers, headers, etc. So hopefully that little video was of use for you. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.